Hello everyone, uh, Randall Christie here on the Gospel Station Network and at the Great Passion Play here in my office in Arkansas, Eureka Springs, and uh, we're going to be talking in just a moment about this very critical matter that we call the Stand for the Cross movement. It's really growing. We've had over 2 million, almost 2.2 million people watch our video in the last 24 hours about this critical issue called Stand for the Cross. What's it about? Well, about a month ago, uh, we started a movement to stand for the cross all across the United States. You know, anti-Christian groups want to tear the cross down out of public view, and they're, now they're working to do that very thing. You may have heard recently mm -hmm. about the Pensacola, Florida cross that was removed from their park, or demanded that it be removed. We hope that they'll win that in appeal. But here in our home state, in our headquarters of Oklahoma, I have offices there and here in Arkansas, but in Oklahoma, our hometown is Ada, Oklahoma. That's where the Gospel Station headquarters is located. There's a college, a state college, East Central University. It's where I went to college. Mm -hmm. And on the campus of that college is a chapel, Boswell Chapel. The Boswell Chapel was done under that, and it was all built with private funds. The Boswell family uh, paid for that 60 years ago. And now a group out of Washington, which I'm not going to name because I don't want them to get any credit or even be acknowledged but they have their address in Washington, D.C., and they have demanded that East Central literally cut that cross off the top of their steeple of the chapel. And we at the Gospel Station immediately took action. This was one month ago, and even though they demanded that the cross be cut off the chapel, it didn't happen yet. What did happen was the Oklahoma mm -hmm. Attorney General has agreed to fight this all the way to the Supreme Court. The Liberty Council, a Christian organization, has agreed to assist in any way that they can. And so what we're doing is we're trying to raise awareness about this case because if, uh, if they succeed, if they force in court to literally cut the cross off the top of this chapel, it's going to affect thousands of chapels all over the United States. There is, there's so many chapels on state property, federal property, military bases, state hospitals, veterans uh, centers, prisons. I mean, there's a long list of chapels in America. And if we lose this battle, then literally all these chapels will be stripped of any Christian identity. They've already removed the Bibles and the crosses from outside, from inside the chapel it, in Ada. And that's sad enough. But I want you to know that East Central University is not at fault here. In fact, they want us to win this case. The Attorney General of Oklahoma is behind it. The senators and lawmakers from the state of Oklahoma are rallying behind this cause. So really, I'm not asking you to contact lawmakers or East Central or anything like that. They're already on board. What I'm asking you to do is to help me raise awareness because we are developing a petition that we want to print off and hand to the Attorney General. Another thing that we're doing is making white crosses. They're two foot tall and about 18 inches uh, wide. They're made out of scrap lumber, paint them white, and we're shipping them all over the United States. We've given over 10,000 of these away already, and right now we have a need for about that many more. So we're really backed up on white crosses. Here's what I want to see. I want to see so many crosses in public view in this country that they can't be taken down. And so I'm calling on Christians to stand mm -hmm. for the cross and put a cross in public view, in front of your business, in front of your church, in front of your home, anywhere that you can put crosses up in public view. And you know what? I'm tired of this. Aren't you tired of it? People that hate the cross and they attack 
every Christian symbol they can find, and we can't let them win. And so you can find out all about this at stand at the cross stand for the cross dot com. Stand for the cross dot com. Sign the petition and uh and once again, if you just joined us, I want to reiterate what's going on. We have a potential court case that's going to set a precedent for the entire United States. And if the atheist, anti-Christian, anti-cross group out of Washington, D.C. that's uh, threatening to file this lawsuit, if they do, and if they win, then literally thousands of crosses are going to be pulled down or cut down across the United States. We can't let it happen. Our Attorney General in Oklahoma is a great man. He has decided that he's going to fight it all the way to the Supreme Court, and we're going to need your help. We need thousands and thousands and thousands of signatures on our petition. And it doesn't cost anything to do that, but we want to print off a stack of papers that we can hand to the Attorney General to light his fire and keep him going, you know, encouraging him to let him know people are behind you. You can find that at StandForTheCross.com. Now, if you have uh, added a comment or sent us a message on Facebook, uh, please, we're way behind on responding. We, were gonna, we will get to your response, uh, every one of them. We will respond to every one of them. We're giving away white crosses. You can call us, you can text us, you can message us on Facebook. We want to give you one, if you'll agree to put it in public view. And here's how you do that. You can call 1-800-557-8815. The best way is message us on Facebook. You can find me on Twitter, Randall C. Christie, and uh, find me on, twi on Twitter, Randall C. Christie, or on Facebook, Randall Christie. Uh, Stand for the Cross has also got a Facebook page. The Gospel Station is on Facebook and online. You can get our free app to keep up with it that way. But please connect with us. Let's stand together. It doesn't matter what denomination you are. This isn't a Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, Catholic. It's nothing like that. Everybody that loves Jesus loves the cross because that's a symbol for what he did. You know, I've been accused in this whole thing of being exclusion and exclusive, you know, that the cross doesn't welcome people, but it does. Uh, the cross is welcoming for all people. In fact, uh, the cross is a picture of Christ with his arms outstretched to everyone. All walks of life, all faiths, all colors, all backgrounds, all lifestyles. Everyone means everyone. And that, you know, the Bible says it like this. Whosoever will may come to the cross. And so you can too. And if you've not accepted Christ as your Savior, ask him to forgive you of your sins and come live in your heart. Really mean it. And he'll do it. Then find a place to get involved with worship and be baptized and get involved in living the Christian life. Again, my name's Randall Christie, and I want to welcome you to this live broadcast. If you just joined us, I want to kind of recap a little bit for you. And I'll tell you that we've had over 2 million. In fact, uh, just in the last hour, I think it was over 2.3 million people have watched our video about standing for the cross. It's posted on my Facebook page. It's also on The Gospel Station, or you can find it at StandForTheCross.com. Please sign the petition. Uh, we have a pending court case, a threat being made uh, from an atheist group out of Washington, D.C., that they're going to file a lawsuit making us cut the cross off the top of our chapel at East Central University in Ada, Oklahoma. Our Attorney General is fighting it. The Liberty Council said they would help any way they could. But you can help. And the way you can help is by signing our petition, sharing the video, and your church can get involved by making white crosses. We need volunteers to make white crosses. It doesn't matter what you make them out of. They can be scrap lumber. Uh, we make them out of pallets. Uh, old scrap trim pieces, uh, anything, old barn wood, anything you can find, two foot tall, usually they're one by twos, 
They can be thinner. It uh, doesn't really matter how thick they are, but they're usually one by twos. And uh, two foot tall, 18 inches wide, make them, but don't put them together. Leave the two pieces separate because they're easy to ship. It's hard to ship them this way. It's easy to ship them this way. And so we just need people to paint them with white out, uh, outdoor exterior paint, make crosses. I mean, your church can make a huge difference just by sharing the petition. And you can print it off uh, our website and use hard copies. We just need names and emails, and uh, we'll manually enter them. They can be sent to us. Would you help with this? I mean, this is going viral. It's 2.3 million people as of this afternoon. We need your help. We need 100 million people doing this. How about you? Are you, where, are you ready to stand for the cross? I mean, you can make a global impact, if you will. Once again, that's standforthecross.com, thegospelstation.com. And right now I'm at my office at the Great Passion Play in Eureka Springs, and I hope that you'll come visit me here. The Great Passion Play, Christ of the Ozarks. You can find that at greatpassionplay.org. And I really appreciate you watching this video. Please share this with your friends so they'll know the update. Right now the cross is not being cut off. But they've already removed the Bibles and the crosses out of the inside of the chapel, and the threat is to cut the cross off the top, but our Attorney General is going to fight it. We need to get behind him. Would you do it? By going to our site, standforthecross.com. Okay? God bless you very much. Randall Christie, and I hope you'll join me.